Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today is going to be another daily shave. Working off of 24 hours of growth, just a little bit to work with. And going back to some of my starter kit products, going to be going with a couple of Van der Hagen stuff. This is the Van der Hagen razor paired with Na uh, Gillette Nasset played on its fourth use. And I'm going to be using my Van der Hagen soap. I believe this is the Deluxe soap. They have a couple versions of like the luxury version and deluxe version. I believe this is a deluxe and um, It's got a pink Hue to it and it Smells pretty sweet kind of like baby powder It's very nice um, Performance of it. I think it's a bit drying on the face uh, But I mean it'll get the job done. Uh, I use it for travel um, yeah, still got a fair amount of left. It looks like a glycerin soap. And uh, it, I got it whipped up using my Samog 830 brush. And this uh, sterling lather bowl with the knobs inside. Uh, it's looking a bit more airy than how I, I would like it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some big bubbles in there. But let's see how it goes. All right, let me wet the face and get it going. <clears throat> All right, today I'm not aiming for a BBS. I'm just gonna go for a clean DFS shave. As I know this uh, razor is not gonna give me the easiest BBS, so I'm just gonna Use it for what it is. All right, it's looking. Uh, if you see these holes in the middle, that's not a good sign because it means that lather is a bit too watery or dissipating. But let's go with it. Here we go. First pass. Let's get it lathered. Lathered on. Hmm. Yeah, it's more on the thin, more airy side. I might have uh, took, put too much water, but that's fine. It'll still be slick. Okay, working off of a thin layer of lather. <clears throat> and this is not going to be the best performing soap out there, uh, but it will be slick. Yeah, it's a bit dissipating, kind of like Williams mug soap, but it'll do the job. You can kind of feel it tingling too with the bubbles popping there. But, uh, let's go for it before it disappears. All right, first pass through with the Van der Hagen razor. Pretty mild eraser. It's not the smoothest, it's cutting, but yeah, it's okay for me. And also, uh, I'm at 400 subscribers now. Uh, Unless it goes back down <laughs> in the next couple of days, but thank you guys for subscribing and watching my videos. It's been very, very enjoyable to record and document my shaves. I know when I first started out, I didn't get much interaction and it's kind of just doing it by myself. Um, sometimes it, 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 was, it was discouraging a bit. Um, but...
I still enjoyed shaving and I don't know if, if at least one person was curious in the stuff that I was using or maybe some of the DE technique that I was going with and if that, that helps them out, I think there is success in my definition. Because many times I would search for videos or lathering tutorials or product reviews, a lot of different things and I appreciated people making reviews and shave of the days just document what their experience is on uh, is with the products that they're using so I'm kind of doing the same just documenting my shapes with these products and also the result if the result if I can get a comfortable <clears throat> result that's a success for me the lather is not not the best today, as you can see, but uh, it's slick. It's slick. All right, here we go. I can pass through, across the grain. Pretty mild razor. Also, I have a a canned foam Gillette can foam that I used to that I had from maybe three four years ago I still have it around I haven't thrown it away so I might try a shave with it my guess is that I could probably get a decent shave with it but I won't enjoy it as much Last couple times I shaved with the can gel or foam, um, it wasn't enjoyable. If that's the only thing I have, I'll use it, but I'd much rather go with a shaved soap or cream. Alright, not bad. Definitely mild. I'm not feeling much of the blade. Just kind of going along. And I have to be careful because if I keep buffing in the same areas without like kind of knowing where I'm shaving, it could be dangerous. It can lead to very to irritations very easily. So gotta be careful for that. Very thin leather today, but that's okay. Still pretty slick. I know my skin is not going to appreciate it, but because I think the soap has uh, some um, lesser quality ingredients like, uh, like is it uh, SLES? Yeah, the blade is not cutting as smoothly as I like, but 
You just gotta be careful not to push it. You just go for one more pass, going across the grain. And pretty much there's nothing in the bowl here. <laughs> you see those watery lather. Might have put too much water, but uh, it's okay. Just gonna squeeze out some of that. Just use it as a thin layer. Just, uh, let's go for it. Not bad. I think that's a pretty clean shave. Not the closest shave, but definitely got the job done. Let me rinse up and see how it went. <clears throat> All right. That's the result for today. Still some hair against the grain, but I see it's fairly close with and across. That's a DFS for me. Corners of the mouth. Eh, that's okay. Not too close, but yeah, you could still have, you could see the shadow of the beard. So. Not the best result, but it'll do. And since I'm shaving daily, I'm going to need to get the closest of shaves. Rather go for comfort over DDS. Let me just uh, get the alum here, see how it went. Okay. A little bit of sting on the chin. A little bit of sting on the neck, but Granted, I didn't face leather today and I didn't push it with the razor. Also, I got a pretty good result out of it. All right. Ooh, I think the alum is, uh, I'm tasting it a bit. <laughs> Tastes salty. All right, that's the end of the shape for today. Went with some Vanderhagen starter kit products, the long handle razor, Vanderhagen deluxe soap, and lathered it up with Simoga 830. <laughs> Got nothing left in the lather bowl. Got some dripping water, but yeah, shave is done. Don't need that lather anymore. All right, so that's a wrap up for today's shave. Uh, moving forward, I'm definitely gonna try the, the canned gel or canned goo, um, shaving foam, whatever you call it. I'm gonna try a shave with it. Probably go with the maggard head uh, instead of the Vanderhagen razor. It, this one works. Just, uh, I just want more blade feel. Uh, it's easier to navigate through the shave for me with the increased blade feel. Kind of know where you're cutting and um, you could kind of tell the efficiency with it too. With the milder razors, I keep buffing and I can't tell how close I'm getting. But for uh, ones with more blade feel, uh, less strokes, um, or it, it just requires less strokes to get to a closer shave. So, all right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll probably do a uh, 400 subscriber giveaway in the future, probably when I get back home. Uh, I got some stuff that I'm not using, so I'll probably pass those on include some samplers and here and there. So uh, be on the lookout for that. This is Tim Shades and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.